Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. It has been a day full of technical issues for me today. My computer wished to spend most of its time updating its antivirus software. Then it did a vulnerability scan. And then add on top of that the fact that Google seems to have drastically altered YouTube yet again to some new kind of monstrosity that we will all have to adapt and relearn how to use all over again. Why they can't just leave things alone, I'll never know. So finally, I get to read for you Joshua chapter 13. Let's open God's word of prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, that you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people hear your word, that you come to my understanding of you. Amen. Now Joshua is old, and well advanced in years. He always said to him, You are old and advanced in years, and there remains yet very much land to be possessed. This is the land that still remains. All the regions of the Philistines, and all the Gezurites, who are on the Shehor, which is before Egypt, into the border of Akron northward, which is counted as Canaanite. The five lords of the Philistines, the Gezites, and the Ashdodites, and the Ashkelonites, the Gedites, and the Akronites, also the Aphem, on the south, all the land of the Canaanites, and Merah, that belongs to the Shinonites, to Apek, to the border of the Amorites, and the land of the Gebelites, and all Lebanon, toward the sunrise, from Baalgad, on the Mount Hermon, the entrance of Hamath, all the inhabitants of the hill country, from Lebanon to Mesriath, Maim, even on the Shinonites, I will drive them out from before the children of Israel, just allocate it to Israel for an inheritance, as I have commanded you. Now therefore, divide this land from inheritance to the nine tribes, and half tribe of Manasseh. With him, the Reubenites and the Gadites received their inheritance, which Moses gave them, beyond the Jordan eastward, even as Moses the servant of Yahweh gave them, from Arah, that is on the edge of the valley of the Arnon, and the city that is in the middle of the valley, and all the plain of Medeba to Debon, and all the cities of Shion, king of the Amorites, who reigned in Eshbon, to the border of the children of Ammon in Gilead, and the border of the Gershonites, and the Machaites, and all Matermon, and all Bashan to Shalkar, all the kingdom of God in Bashan, who reigned in Asaroth, and in Edri, the same was left of the remnant of the Rephaim, for Moses attacked these and drove them out. Nevertheless, the children of Israel didn't drive out the Gershorites, nor the Machaites, but Gashur and Machath live within Israel to this day. Only he gave no inheritance to the tribe of Levi. The offerings of Yahweh, the God of Israel, made by fire are his inheritance, as he spoke to him. Moses gave to the tribe of the children of Reuben, according to their families. Their border was from Aro, that is on the edge of the valley of the Arnon the city that is in the middle of the valley, and all the plain by Medeba, Hesbron, and all its cities that are in the plain, Dibon, Amoth Baal, Beth Baal Mion, Jaaz, Kilimoth, Mephahath, Kiriathim, Shebma, Zev, Saha, in the mountains of the valley, Beth Peor, the slopes of Bishka, Beth Jezimoth, all the cities of the plain, and all the kingdom of Sion, king of the Amorites, who reigned in Eshbon, whom Moses struck with the chiefs of Midian, Evi, Rechem, Zer, Hur, and Reba, the princes of Sion, who lived in the land. The children of Israel also killed Balaam, the son of Beor, the soothsayer with the sword, among the rest of their slain. The border of the children of Reuben was the bank of the Jordan. This was the inheritance of the children of Reuben, according to their families, the cities and its villages. Moses gave to the tribe of Gad, to the children of God, according to their families. Their border was Jazir, the cities of Gilead, and a half the land of the children of Ramon, to Aro, that is near Rabba, and from Eshbon, to Ramoth, Mizpah, and Beton, Im, and from Mahanim, to the border of Dibba, and in the valley, Bethram, Beth Nimrah, Zakoth, and Zaphon. The rest of the kingdom was Sion, king of Eshbon, the Jordan's bank, to the uttermost parts 
the city of Sinaraf, beyond the Jordan, eastward. This is the inheritance of the children of God according to their families, the cities and its villages. Moses gave an inheritance to the half tribe of Manasseh. It was for the half tribe of the children of the Manasseh according to their families. Their border was from Mahanim or Bashan, or the kingdom of Og, king of Bashan, and all the villages of Jair, which are in Bashan, sixty cities of Gilead, Asroth, and Edri. The cities of the kingdom of Og and Bashan, and for the children of Makkah, the son of Manasseh, even for the half of the children of Makkah, according to their families. These are the inheritances which Moses distributed in the plains of Moab, beyond the Jordan at Jericho eastward. But Moses gave no inheritance to the tribe of Levi. Yahweh, the God of Israel, is their inheritance, as he spoke to them.